G'day everybody, Wong here. Today's video is going to be about the G36C. I'm actually, I know I say this about every video, but I genuinely feel this way. I'm, I'm happy to get this video out. Purely because I actually really, really like the G36C. Um, it was one of Gamer Worm, who's a friend of mine who's a streamer. Um, one of his OG guns he used to use a bunch, and um, I actually personally really like this gun. I think that it's definitely slept on by the casual player base a fair bit, and I think the M4, in my opinion, is overhyped. I'm not like a big M4 guy. I, I never really thought it was too crazy, but the G36C is just sort of the same thing but shoots faster um, it has more recoil of course so for a lot of people that definitely means that it's um, not as good but I personally prefer using the G36 over the M4 and I think it's a really really cool gun I remember when they added it to escape from Tarkov I was so desperate to give it a go and they uh, kind of butchered the stats on it and it was really hard to use but still it's a cool gun it's one of my favorites to have in any game it's just so much fun and it looks really cool anyways in this video we're going to be showing off the stats bullets to kill time to kill all that good stuff then we're going to be going over the standings and where I would compare it to other ARs and honestly, there's a weird kind of thing right now where there's a few ARs that I generally compare to each other a lot in my own head. So I'm going to be explaining that. And then I'm going to show you guys a couple of builds and some weird things to do with the G36 and potentially a long barrel build, which is going to be harder for a lot of players that are new. But for players who are a bit better, this will be a good build. Anyways, moving on to the stats. Alrighty, so here are the stats for the G36C. We have 30 damage, which means it's a four shot kill. Even with the long barrel, it stays at a four shot. Then we have a fire rate of 750, which is actually 50 RPM higher than the M4 and the ACR slash SG55 bow, which does put this gun in a good position, meaning it has a higher DPS than those guns, i.e. lower time to kill. And that time to kill is 240 milliseconds. Now, another thing is, um, that damage, if you chuck a long barrel, you can keep that four shot kill even against normal armor, which is actually pretty good in my opinion. That's a 240 milliseconds at any range against body shots, even against normal armor. That's, that's actually pretty good in my opinion. That's definitely good enough for a conquest match. Now, another thing to say really quick is it's reload speed of 3.73. Now, it's not like amazing, but you can get a quick mag that has no downsides on this gun, and then you can slap an erk grip, and your reload speed becomes really, really fast. So, I would say this gun's reload speed is actually pretty good. It's not like amazing amazing but it's pretty good the fast reload doesn't feel incredibly quick but it's good enough for me to say that this feels like a reloads faster than the m4 and it has a vertical recoil of 1.45 and a horizontal of 0.84 for reference slightly better vertical recoil than the m4 very slight and then a little bit worse than the m4 for horizontal so do with that what you will it probably has to less total range than the m4 but um it's 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 like an m4 that tends to close range which for a lot of people instantly they go well i don't want that gun you know what i mean or i just pick something else but for me personally i never really picked the m4 at range anyway so i really like the g36 the m4 for me was it's like in between the ak-74 and this gun you know it kills a little bit faster with body shots and has a little bit of range but the ak-74 for me i just have crazy range with that gun and then this gun the g36c kills faster than the m4 up close so i may as well just pick this um so yeah we got a little a good dps like slightly faster than the m4 and then slightly worse recoil and then a good reload speed too so you end up with a gun that feels pretty basic nothing too crazy just you know it's like an m4 but slightly different um so yeah, anyways i'm going to move on to the standing section because i think that'll be give a little bit more insight into this gun Alrighty, so here's a category of guns that I all think I compare in my head. You guys might not compare these guns very often, but in my head, I actually compare these guns a fair bit. And the reason being is that they all have a four shot against uh, flesh, and then they all have a very similar fire rate. For instance, um, all of these have a 700 fire rate, except the G36C, which is a 750, upping its um, DPS. So uh, if you look at the top left, we've got the SG550. Slightly worse DPS, especially against armor, like slightly worse damage, but a really, really fast reload and a really fast aim down side speed. ACR, slightly worse DPS, really fast run speed. The M4, no DPS change, really good recoil. The G36C, good DPS, but a slight recoil there. That's pretty much how I would consider all these guns. The G36 is one of the highest skill weapons in this category, and same with the SG550 in my opinion, but I personally run the SG550 because it's easier to run. I'm more when I'm playing off camera, I'm just looking for something chill and just, I'm not going to muck around and talk with people whilst playing, you know what I mean? And I'd probably use the SG550. Granted, the G36C, I was running it, um, of course, for the video, I ran it a bit more, and um, I was having a really, really good time. The DPS does make the gun feel really fun to use, and I personally will put it probably very close to the SG550, if not a little better than the SG550. I really, really like it. So, yeah, that's how I would compare these guns. Um, and now I'm going to move on to some builds I'd run for the G36C to kind of lean into that damage. Alrighty, so this first build doesn't lean into the damage as much. It actually leans into the 
uh, reload speed. I get the Urk Grip, the Quick Mag, because the Quick Mag has no downside, so you should always run it. Um, unless you're looking to run the Extended, but I personally don't like run speed nerfs. I, I really should give it another go. I really should. Um, I might actually start doing that. Some people have been recommending it to me, so I might. But uh, me personally, my, my general choice is do not pick Extended Mags. But um, anyways, anyway, so you run the Quick Mag, the Urk Grip for the reload speed. I also run the Tactical Barrel just to help with the vertical recoil even more. Even though really I should be going for the Horizontal, on a 750 fire rate, I don't want to make the vertical even worse, and I'd actually prefer to get it as low as possible, um, because that on that fire rate, it actually does matter in my opinion. But that being said, there is another build that I would recommend, and that is the Long Barrel SC5 Grip and Quick Aim Mag. Now, the Long Barrel makes your vertical a bit worse, so as I said before, on a 750 fire rate, that does matter in my opinion. So to go along with it, we're running the SC5 Grip instead of the Urk, because I also don't want the horizontal to get worse, but I want the vertical to be reined in a little bit, so I run the SC5. Quick Mag, of course, and a Reflex. Now, this build's a little different. This build is very, very headshot based. If you're versing someone with, if I remember correctly, a light vest and a helmet, um, a couple of headshots and then a body shot will always kill them, like no matter what. So headshots was the thing actually really, really good on the long barrel G36. Headshots honestly do matter uh, like an all right amount if an enemy's wearing no helmet as well. Um, headshots are good even without the long barrel, but with the long barrel, you can be versing helmets and things and still be totally fine. So um, yeah, this is the build I would run if you're getting really, really good at the recoil and you're playing frontline and you're trying to maximize KPM with this gun. You might even instead chuck on a suppressor and play a little bit different, but this is what I would run. I mean, what I have been running, in fact. But um, yeah, those are the two builds I would recommend. The playstyle modes I really give for this gun are kind of, you really want to be sticking to closer to medium range gunfights and you want to be, it's hard to explain, you do value a good position on your part. A lot of other guns like the arm and the foul and things like that, you can sort of be in a bad position and catch people off guard. This gun, I will say, is a little bit harder to do that, but it is definitely doable. It's like the foul and UMP, you could be running through the open and someone who's a few meters away behind cover might quick peek you. And if they miss their first few couple shots or maybe first shot, the foul of the arm can make up the difference pretty easily. G36, it's harder to make up the difference, but you could do it at further ranges. So this gun almost punishes bad aim on the enemy's part if you're playing bad. But if you're playing good and you're in a good position, that doesn't matter at all. But um, I just thought it'd be a quick thing to mention. Another thing I'd say about the G36 is it has a surprising amount of range, a surprising amount of reload speed. It just feels like a very versatile gun, but up close, the headshots really do matter. That's pretty much the only notes I can give. A flank, as always, is pretty good. It's not as good as other guns, in my opinion, just because the it doesn't have an incredibly fast reload, and the mag size isn't that big for the fire rate. So, honestly, for a flank, it probably won't be as good as some other guns, but flanks to every gun do make them better. So, you know, of course, still flank. Head-on gunfights for this thing, you'd want to be tending towards range a bit more on a head-on gunfight, but if you're if you're confident with headshots, um, you're probably going to be chilling up close, even against a lot of weapons. Uh, not, like, MP7 or anything like that, but uh, maybe even, I don't know. I don't know. But um, yeah, anyways, um, those are the playstyle notes I would give for this gun. Moving on to the live commentary. Alrighty, g'day everybody. I'm doing a review of the G36C and this will be the live commentary. Now, I'm running the long barrel, uh, grip, and quick mag right now. I'm probably going to switch to the tactical just because I find it easier right now and I'm just looking to chill. Um, it's a bit early, so uh, there's not a whole lot of players on. Right now we've got 64v64. But we're on a 127 server, so this is going to be a pretty small match. It's going to be a little bit hard to find kills. So I might use the tactical to extend my range out a bit and see what happens. No perks enabled because I don't want to use them. And also everybody is blue and red because on this server, everybody's blue and red. So yeah. Won't spam tab because I don't want to make you guys... Oh, yep. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look here. So... It's going to be a little hard to find kills with such little players, but that's totally fine. Now the G36 for me just feels like an M4, but better. I'll have to have a deeper look at the stats because I'm actually making this live commentary before doing the rest of the stats section. So I'm going to have to have a deeper look and um, double check everything, but for me it just feels like it's better than the M4 in most ways. But um, let's see what we do. Right here because it's domination, I can't get to the other side of the map very quickly. I'm going to be making a video on map flow and reading the map because I watched a video on reading the map pretty recently and I thought, do you know what, this guy's got good info, <coughs> but I think that he's missed some stuff and I'd like to make my own video that'll be a little easier to watch for newer players, which I think will be the people who need to watch a video like that the most. So I want to be doing a video on the map flow. Um, let me just cough real quick. Alrighty, so first things first, let's have a look here. 
if this was a bigger map it'd be a lot easier to see but with every map pretty much you can just sort of draw a line through the middle of the map and then that's generally where at the start of the match everybody's going to meet but for this one it's a little bit harder on domination you do where the maps are but we're fine let's have a look all right let's try to move over here let's try to flank that guy i was just shooting at um running into some other people which is totally fine i'm like definitely within my guns range take some good gunfights here and that's totally good running assault uh, grip and also um quick mag of course to get all that reload speed just because i really really like a fast reload i'm valuing it a lot more of a health as of late now now granted i'm sure the more i play the more i'll start valuing health again but i've just been valuing reload speed so much um really really enjoying fast reloads all right let me head up here and get some healing going i've also started making a video where i'm getting a montage with every single gun in the game and i've been playing without a hud and I've had a lot of fun making that, so just want to say, look out for that. It might still be a while yet because it's, you know, every single gun, so it's going to take a while. But I've done a lot of guns, actually. I've done a lot of guns already. I've done my personal faves. I've done the, like, sort of meta -y guns and, like, all the SMGs and things. And now I'm going to be doing the rest of the DMRs and the support weapons as well very soon. Uh, let me spawn in here. Let's have a look. D's being captured, so let's spawn in this guy who's near D and go for it. I was going to go for C, but I saw our teammates were pretty close, so I thought the chance of there being a large amount of enemies is a lot lower than if we were going for D, which is currently being captured by them. Going to do that. This gun's got really, really good DPS, as you guys can see, just right there at the range. If I had the long barrel, it would have been a little different. Um, I don't think I would have hit all my shots, but the long barrel would have made it better against armor. But considering I didn't hit armor, I'm chilling. Just like that guy, because I didn't aim for the head. I need to get over here. Okay, let's try to get over here. Rost, I'm healing. I'm literally just acting as if there's no enemies near me because I literally can't do anything if they wanted to fight me. Fast reload because that guy was behind me shooting me. A teammate, I think, killed him because I heard gunshots right here and my teammate's alive. So yeah, my teammate probably killed the enemy instead of it being the other way around. I did, honestly, I thought those guys were dead, so that's why I didn't shoot. Let's move this away. I saw there were more people up here, so I just want to clear them out. Damn, that's a shame. If I was just played a little better there, I would have been able to get behind cover. Alright, let's have a look. Spawning Higgs is the closest I can get to D, um, and I want to be back at D because I now know that there's a crap ton of enemies there just due to being alive there. Let's move through. I'm going to try and do a bit of pathing here that's closer to cover. I want to actually keep the rocks in between me and C due to that enemy behind me that was shooting me. I'm not going to go for the kill on them. I'm actually just going to ignore them because I don't think I'd be able to get a kill very quickly. Whereas if I make my way over here as fast as I can, I might be able to run into four or five kills that are easy. So let's do that and see if we can seed out some kills here. Let me hop up top here. Oh, let's see his... Dang, I really want to stay on top of this. Let's have a look if I can. No, I can't. I can, but I, I just am... Um, don't... It's a bit fiddly, and I don't feel like fiddling right now. I just feel like kind of chilling and playing without thinking too much. Let's jump in here and have a geese. Alrighty. The reason I slowed it down there is because I knew that enemy knew where we were because he looked at us before I came in. Damn, that person, I could have risen them, but they, um... They gave up. Let me move over here. D's being taken. I assume the enemies there are all going to die. So I'm going to move away and try to get some kills elsewhere. Let's see what we can do. Can't heal because I'm not damaged. Just checking. Anytime I'm running through the open, even Ms. Medic, I do Yo, you know it. Holy moly. Ah. Uh, kicked. <laughs> Oh man, if that guy asks again, I'll tell him he was in the G36 live commentary so he knows. Got kicked from my squad. It could be the bug. There's a bug that does that. No, I just got kicked in here in me. Oh, that's what he said. I didn't know what he said. He said, is that the YouTuber? And I said, you know it. And he said, kick. I didn't know what he said. I thought he said something else. That's hilarious. Honestly, honestly, that's pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty good. I, um, I'm annoyed I got kicked because they were good spawn points. But um, that was pretty funny. Kick. And I'm gone. Anyways, let's head back to D, because it's being capped by the enemies really, really fast even, so I know there's going to be a lot of enemies there. So, 
I actually wish I had the rope equipped right now instead of ammo packs. So I'm running Ranger Vest, so I don't really need the ammo packs as much as I normally would. Damn, I just literally turned off my brain and didn't aim there. That was my bad. Let me head back and have a look at what we can do here. All the trees are gone, so it's going to make this a little bit different to normal. But my gun pick, which is the G36C, is actually pretty good at range, so it actually will favor me pretty good here um, if enemies are trying to cross this open gap. Of course, if I am, it won't. But if they are, it will. Alrighty, let me back up here and heal. Just because I don't want to take any other gunfights. I wanted to take another gunfight. And then, even though it was pretty high risk. Dang, I just turned off my brain. That was really good movement. I know that guy doesn't realize, but he accidentally... Um, no, he moved really, really well against my aim. That was actually really good. Let me spawn here. I want to get out of here. I don't like being in this area. I really want to be... Um, I really, really, really want to be back at D, but if there's enemies at B here, I guess I will spawn here and actually take it seriously. Because I honestly thought there weren't going to be any enemies nearby, and then I, you know, spawned in and there were enemies everywhere. This guy's not going to res me, which is fair, because he's in a gunfight. Um, okay, let me move over here. I want to put a cover in between me and that enemy on the right. Because I think he'll die to other people. He did. Or they did, even. Alright, let me... Do this. Let's have a look here. I think that, um... Yeah, anyways. Now that we've got a little bit of downtime and there's not a whole lot of enemies nearby. Oh, never mind. Jeez. Look at that. I just honestly... This match, I just really wanted to chillax. Just because I, um... I didn't make a video yesterday because I was doing a bunch of other things. I was working on the 4v4 server and things like that. And I just decided, you know what... I'll kind of spend my whole day doing that kind of stuff and doing stuff to do with like actual real life work and I'll take a day break and I won't make a video. So I didn't make a video yesterday and today honestly I'm looking to make a bit of a chill one because I do want to be trying to see the match together for the 4v4 server we're creating. So we actually did a play test last night on the day that I took a break and didn't make a video. I um, We did a play test and we had a couple of people in and it was really really fun. We played with... Um, Smiley, we played with Simmons, we played with Fifth Bloodline, and we played with a few people, um, I think a couple of which actually don't want to be named, so I, I won't uh, name them, uh, if I remember correctly, but yeah, we had some matches and it was really, really, really fun, and um, yeah, it was really, really good, and I was actually very surprised at how fun a 4v4 match format was. Now granted, we have not ironed out all the kinks, and it is not the most competitive thing right now. Like, we haven't got it to be super duper competitive. Please, please, please. But honestly, don't worry, Cookie, I got you. But um, honestly, I'm really looking to make it more competitive than it is right now. But also, I'm, I'm not... Here's the thing, we've had a look at the battle bit. I, I personally have had a look at the battle bit RC sort of rule set and everything. And honestly, um, that's another competitive server for North America and EU. Um, and honestly, I didn't really like the rule set. And for me, I would like to do something a little different. So um, our server is probably going to be completely separate from any other BattleBit comp stuff. And we're going to run our own rules that are based on what OCE players want. And yeah, anyways. Um, so yeah, anyways, I was thinking as well, if we can get some players in to get some play tests, we might be able to start changing the rule set, have a match, everyone can say what they think, and then we can either make it a permanent rule, or maybe not. Or maybe, if we don't know, we can play even more matches on the rule set. I personally was thinking, because it's a 4v4 format, why don't we have um, every single class, there can only be one of every class per team. So now, a team will look like a medic, a support, an engineer, and assault, as opposed to, you know, three medics in an assault, if you guys know what I mean. I I'd like to try that, but I also don't know what players would think. So, I don't know, it's like tough. We're gonna have to play test so many things, but I personally am willing to hop on for matches and get people in. And if you guys wanna hop in for matches, please let me know. Um, if you're in my Discord, hit me up with a DM if you wanna play the 4v4 thing. Right now, it's mostly for OCE because we do not have any servers outside of OCE. But um, if you're not OCE, let me know if you'd be interested anyways. But if you're OCE, double let me know, because um, you'd definitely be able to hop in the playtest. I'm going to ignore that enemy, because I need to heal, and I wouldn't be able to live anyways. So I'm just going to completely ignore them, um, because I don't think they're going to be able to kill me anyways if I'm hopping around. Full health again. That was honestly just a bit of a meme. I, I probably should have started shooting about halfway through there, but... Oh, whoopsies. See, right there was a good example of Peek's advantage. I was just rolling over and over again. Bad luck, no light. 
That's hilarious. No Light's such a legend. I actually thought it was him because he runs the hood and uh, assault with the grapple hook. So I could sort of tell it was him. Let's head back in here and uh, see what else we can do. See, this is just kind of playing random, just running around. Oh, I saw that guy behind me. I wanted to switch my gun. Anyways, anyways. Let's play. What's this? Alrighty. Let's go this way. And head on in. Alright, so we're on the back of enemies here off of the spawn, which is pretty lucky to be honest. I didn't I definitely didn't know it would be like this when I spawned. Um, I was gonna bandage him, but he's a medic, so he'd actually bandage himself faster. I'll I'll res him if I can. Let me do this. I'm gonna stick my legs into the concrete thing behind me so I don't poke through. Oh, I nearly got C4 there. That was close. I definitely should have gotten C4 by no light there. That was bad luck from him. I reckon he had placed it and he just hadn't quite hit right click. Or maybe he didn't want to kill himself with it and that's why he took extra time. Don't know. Damn, that was a really good kill from Ironbot there. This has been a really fun match so far. Sorry if my talking's a little different. I um, I definitely needed a break. You guys know what I mean? Like... Yeah, I, I've, I'm about to be starting, like, real, like, actual work, because I, um, I did have a job a while ago, but I, um, it was only a Christmas casual thing, and now I'm doing another Christmas casual job, and I'm keen to actually get some work down, because if I get some money in, I'll be able to pay for a better computer and get a better stream for you guys, and maybe, um, I might be able to pay for some extra editing stuff so I can make better videos for you guys, and stuff like that, you know, because I've had some things, I've been looking around for different effects and things that are, like, plugins for... Um, the editor I use, and a lot of the ones I want actually end up costing money. They used to not, but they now do. Um, and I think that's because they're just really, really good. So, yeah, I want to be able to get some money so I can buy some more plugins and all that. And uh, might also be able to start hosting events that involve money on a, on the Discord and things like that. So, yeah, anyways. Um, the upload schedule will be a little bit less frequent. It won't be daily anymore. It'll probably be three or four a week. Um, just because, you know... I think me getting money and putting it into the channel will actually make the channel's growth a lot better and also will make the videos just a lot better. And I think that that's just... I don't know. I think that that's valuable. I might have to try and make more live commentary videos. If I This is what I might be able to do. I might be able to make the videos like I do right now, three a week, and then I might be able to make just live commentaries to fill up the rest of the days. Like, not a, like instead of being a, a portion of like editing and visuals and things like that, maybe I'll just do a couple videos a week that are just live commentaries, because they'll be easy to make, and I could definitely make those after or before work. Um, I'll definitely be able to get that going. Anyways, though, um, back to the match at hand. Sorry, uh, the talking for this one might be a little weirder than normal, so that's my bad. I, um... Definitely the vibes are different right now on my end. It's good. Like, I still enjoy playing, of course. Like, I really, really enjoy playing, but I'm just... I've got a lot more responsibilities um, going on on my end, which are, like, not a bad thing at all. It's actually a good thing. It's just I need to figure out how to balance the responsibilities and YouTube because, honestly... I know that the YouTube's pretty small right now, but I really love reading your guys' comments, and I love the community, and I don't know, it's just something that's like, I value it a lot, even though I'm not getting much out of it in terms of money stuff, like, I'm not getting much monetary stuff out of it, but all the other stuff I'm getting out of it I love, and it's one of those things where it's like, the right choice for my life might be to value other things, but I just, for my passion, I definitely value this a lot more, I, I don't know, I love it. Anyways, um... Sorry if that's like a weird thing. I don't want you guys to be thinking about that. <laughs> I just sort of want to talk about it and mention that's sort of why my talking's been a little bit different for this one. But anyways, let's keep going. Let's use this um, sandbag. Oh, teammates taking D, so we don't need to go there. Enemies taking A, so I'm actually going to go there instead of B. B, I have to cross a bridge, which I really don't want to cross. So I won't go to B. Um, I'll actually go somewhere else. But um, we'll see what happens. I want to jump up on top of here. Nice. That was good shooting from whoever else killed him. Damn, I'm down. Ryder might be able to res me here. We'll see. Ah, no, they're moving on. Fair enough. Thank you very much. Alright, I can heal myself, so I will. I prefer the medic too, but I actually fully understand that they don't because they're moving on to get some kills, which I truly get. I'm going to do this because my gun's long range. I'm actually going to take this long range angle and have a quick look. Oh, I just aimed so bad. I aimed behind that guy the whole way. That's such a shame. 
I got you. Did you repaying this man for reviving me earlier? Boom, welcome back. Alright, let's keep moving. I'm actually going to left here through the water, even though it provides really bad angles. I think that this gun's DPS combined with the enemies not being too crazy, I should be alright doing this. So look, I don't see any enemies, we're chilling. Okay, let's have a look. Just double checking all these long angles. I want to stay here in a good position just because my gun can support me at range. So I do not mind playing this long angle. Okay, this is interesting. Alright, cool. Let's keep it moving. Oh, whoopsies. Okay. This is good. This is good. Now when our team has all the objectives, it's kind of tough to tell where to go. I'm going to gamble D because their spawn is near D. So let's gamble that they're going to go for D. And let's start heading over. Granted, we got a lot of straggler players just sort of in the middle of nowhere. So maybe I should actually take it a bit slower than expected. Because that guy did actually catch me off guard. This guy caught me off guard. This is why This is why I got to start taking it slow. Look at me just saying I got to take it slow and then I run into the open. <laughs> Ah, right, let's take it like actually slow. Um, out of bandages, that's a shame, but I do have an ammo pack for that reason. So, let's do that. Get my maze, get my bandages. I should only need one bandage to heal because I was on 60 something health. Oh, I'm so bad. Alright, let's. You guys know when you like, you have a standard for yourself, right? Like you might have been getting kills that are a certain level of skill. The, and then all of a sudden you don't get it and you're like, what am I doing? You know, it feels really weird. Um, anyways. Wow, I gambled wrong. They went for D. That's very interesting. I didn't expect them to get B, sorry. I expected them to go for D. That's very interesting. Um, huh. I wonder if that was for a good reason or if it was just by pure chance. I don't know. There's something like that is a little frustrating because I actually want to know, like, could I have predicted B? Was there a way for me to predict that? Not too sure. Alright, let's head on this way. Maybe there were enemies shooting around there. Not too sure. It was interestingly enough, we um, last night when we played the playtest for the 4v4 server, we were playing Rush, and there was a bomb inside this building, and we had a really, really good set of gunfights where we blew up the roof and got the ropes up, and we were all having gunfights around this building trying to defuse the bomb and plant it and things. It was really, really good fun. This building as well, on the second round through, um, when I was defending, I defended this building, and it was really, really fun. I had a really, really good time. Alright, let's jump over here. No lights in here. I wonder if you got rezzed. It'd be a bit scary if you did, because he's pretty good. Oof, I'm down. I knew I was going to die fast, just because I was only on 50 HP, so that means I can go down pretty quick. Um, especially if I get headshot. Right, let's move this way and have a look. That was not good enough for me. I definitely should have played a bit better there. Let me move this way. And see what we can do. Going to just get ready here, get all that heals down. See what kind of fights we got. Definitely could have killed that guy faster, but my aim wasn't good enough. There we go. Those two guys down there were stacked on top of each other, I guess. I think that's why I killed them both that fast. We've got a UAV here, which is um, a little bit frustrating. I didn't realize until I just hit tab then. I kind of forgot about it. So now I know where the enemies are. Very weird. This is a, must be a very big transitional area. It must be because of... Um, how choke point it is getting across the train yard here, perhaps. Um, I'm probably going to die here because I was reading the map, but I just wanted to show you guys what I'm thinking. I think this train yard, perhaps due to the choke pointy nature of it, it takes a lot of these enemies moving from A to C a long time, and they end up clumping right here. Which is a very interesting thing. Very, very interesting. Um, don't know if I want to switch to these cameras. I keep the slick black. I don't know. Slick black looks really cool on um, the G36, just because it's... I've always seen this weapon as a weapon that's like complete black or like dark grey, you know what I mean? Um, I really, really like it. Oh, let me kill that person. I'm going to chill here and heal. I saw that red from the silo through here and I thought it was an enemy due to the way the server is. That's really funny. Not going to lie, District feels a lot better when everybody's red and blue. Oh, whoops, he's actually opened up my build menu because i I got a side mouse button. And side mouse button is my build menu button. Yo, Wong. Let me say yo. Yo. Let's see what they would like to talk about. Let's move down here. 
You're not going to prestige beyond three, right? Yeah, I'm not going to prestige beyond, uh, prestige beyond three. Just for YouTube. Um, not YouTube stuff. Let's see. I have things on hand. That's what I'm going to say because I think it's just the, that's just the plain truth. I'd prefer to have everything unlocked ready for a YouTube video whenever. Granted, I might eventually be doing a YouTube video about leveling up and prestiging, in which case I would need to, uh, you know, I would need to prestige. So I might do that, but probably not in the near future unless you guys have any ideas. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. No skins after three, so I'm just sort of like not going to prestige. Now, granted, if they ever added skins past prestige three, I probably would. Um, I think that I would do that just because... And even the skins now are dog crap. Oh, I don't even know. I, honestly, I actually really like the actual like ones that try to look like actual camos. I really am a big fan of that. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. I agree with Raiden Shogun. He's running left, and I fully agree. that That's just a hallway that'll melt. And I, I personally don't have a gun that's good enough to fight there. But yeah, you gotta pay for any half decent skins, anyways. That's hilarious. Yeah, I got you. Dang, respawn. No good, no good. No, right there. I wish I had the um, the long barrel on. Anyways, I I personally really like the skins in this game. I don't know. I think that like, look. I'm glad they're adding new skins. I'm definitely glad they're adding more skins. I just hope they don't remove the current ones because I do actually quite like the current ones. Um, I just kind of like, not gonna lie, I'm just kind of turning my brain off there with that close range fight. I need to pay more attention to what I'm doing. Let's go in here and actually try to fight this corner. Do that. I got a tag so I know someone's close. Damn, that's a shame. Good C4. I did that C4 and it'll tag anyone who's through the wall there a bit close so I knew there was a guy hugging. Didn't think he'd C4 though, so that was a good play from him. Uh, that's a shame. Any bandage tech, yeah. Oh, I never tells bandaging me. That's a bit weird. Thank you very much. Um, I'll heal myself and just run, just so I get a bit more time here to get some kills. Damn, that's a shame. I didn't think there was someone still here. I'll spawn here and go for A because the enemies have recapped it. So there's probably people. I hear gunshots on the right, and he's down. I don't know if there's any more. I would expect they did what me and Ryden did and ran up the left here because it's just. A better play to flank those things. So, like, right there, there's a big clump of teammates in the doorway. Right there, it's really, really hard to get through. Um, but if you use a flank, um, you can actually print a ton of kills because all the enemies will be watching that doorway. Let's move up here to A. See what we can do. Alrighty. Oh man, sorry, I'm not really not playing. I'm reading the chat like I need. I'm reading about the skins and stuff. I um, so they're adding new skins, which I think the whole pattern thing looks really good, and I like the patterns I have available. But honestly, let's really quickly go through. I'm gonna talk about all the skins here that I like because there's a bunch of skins here that I do like. I like this skin. I like. I sort of like this skin a little bit. I'd like them to keep it. Um, I like the pink. I really like this camo where it's like a mix between blue, yellow, and orange. I like the solid colors. I like these ones where it's like the netting pattern. I really like that. And I really like that it's just this, right? And then we have like this skin, which is the same thing, just a, a lower color, like a different color. You know what I mean? I actually enjoy that. I really like the whole same skin, just different colors thing. I honestly like this. I like it on the netting camo. I like this. I like the, I, the netting camo, this one I don't like. The white camo I like. This I enjoy. This I enjoy. What else do I enjoy? I like this one, the dark green. Big fan. Big fan of the autumn colors one. I really like that too. I like this one as well. Uh, what else? I like the orange camos. Look, honestly, no, you know what? Let's just not do this for too long. But I do like a bunch of these camos. Um, I don't think they should remove them. People say that they're pretty crap, but I'm a really big fan of like... Oh, it's hard to explain. I actually am a really, really big fan of... Um, what do you call it? I'm a really, really big fan of a pattern on a lot of guns. Like, the same pattern on a lot of guns I really, really like. I, I don't know. I know a lot of people prefer individual skins that are made for a weapon, but there's a lot of skins that are just patterns that I enjoy, honestly. 
very hard to see here. The red uniform is sort of helping, but honestly, the fog makes it hard to see anyways. Kind of makes that guy blend in with the cattails there, because they're a little bit red, to be honest. Let me go back over to here. Sorry, I got an itchy eyeball. Oh, man. Interesting. I think that's no light. He's got some good movement there. And he's using the org. That's for sure no light. I can tell. Good movement. Using the org. Got the hood. Got the grapple hook. That's no light. So cheesy. That was a tough situation for him to be in, honestly. I think the only thing he could have done was... <sighs> not even doable. It was like build a sandbag and then actually hold F to build it up. But I don't know where he'd have enough downtime to actually complete that action. So I don't know if that was doable. But um, it was still a really nice try using the ammo crate there. Alright, let me blow this up so I can go up. That's right, it uses two C4s. Um, people told me it only uses one, and that just isn't the case on certain maps. It actually uses two. Um, or it's, it, right there it said like I used three in total, but it uses two at once. Which I don't know if that's a bug or not, but um, yeah, that wall takes more C4 than other walls. Same with the ones that are brown and the same color. They can use two sometimes. Yeah, I agree. Everyone's saying that the balance is at a good place right now. I agree. Now, granted, I don't know for comp play, because we haven't um, played much comp play at all, um, ever, actually, in fact, for Battle Bit, but uh, there are players all around the world who would know, and I'd really, really like to hear their opinion. We, um, yeah, anyways, let's have a look. Sitting on top of the rock here, I'm not too afraid of people shooting back at me, because i got a lot of good range. Interesting. Didn't get a tag there. I must have aimed bad. Let's try to move down to the left here away from all the teammates. I'm going to use the back of this building to run into D safely. Because the rooftop up top is actually really, really good for fighting me. Like, I don't want to fight people on that rooftop. So instead, I want to get close enough to the point where the rooftop doesn't matter. And I'm going to use this route that I know of due to playing a lot um, that would get me there safely. Interesting. Oh, I'm going to boop out the Glock for an easy kill here. Oh. 